Hello everybody, this is Aether Nightmare and welcome back to session number 25 of Genshin Impact. I'm probably still going to keep it light today because I didn't get to end of any of my editing over the weekend, so we're just going to do one story quest and then I'm probably going to wrap it up because I am behind on everything. Real work, stream editing, chores, I got to nothing over the weekend. So I am probably going to keep it light tonight. So what has changed most characters, I am trying to get unlocked to at least level 70. I did get Razor's weapon up to level 80, so he has a fully maxed out weapon now. Uh, other than that, even if characters themselves aren't at level 70 yet, I want to get them all unlocked to level 70 because that grants them a new talent. I believe I was working on... Sucrose? Yeah, I was working on Sucrose last. I think I actually- I did! I got enough stuff for Sucrose. I forgot to actually mold the crystal. We can do that in a second. Uh, Noelle is gonna be next, maybe. Noelle or Amber. And then Beto. I'm probably just gonna keep Beto where she's at for now. If you ever want to I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Two electric claymores might be good. There are some events coming up in Genshin Impact. The Lantern Rite is going to be soon, on the 3rd of February. Looking forward to that, though I don't know how much time I'll have to actually do it. Let's forge one of these. And ascend sucrose. But I will give it my best. There's also a slime park thing going on, but I believe it's only for the PC version of the game. The PS4 version, uh, due to transaction issues, is going to be getting it later, so Slime Park is not here for me yet. So we get Mollus Favonius, whatever that does. Let's see. Uh, when a s yeah, I, I can definitely read that. A stable animal hypostasis creation 6308 or forbidden creation isomer 78 type 2 hidden opponent increasing all party members excluding sucrose elemental mastery by amount equal to 20% of sucrose's element elemental mastery for 8 seconds. Huh, so maybe it just increases my elemental mastery. Okay. It's so nice to de-stress. Anyway, let's actually look at the quests for today. L2. Ooh, it's uh, Tartaglia today. Isn't Slime Park a web event? Yeah, uh, it is. But it's not unlocked on PS4 yet. They said it was going to be coming later. So, me who loves slimes... Must wait. Okay, it is unlocked. Across the sea, ask the Millilith about the situation. You and Paimon prepare to investigate a ruin near Lingju Pass. Okay, then. Lingju Pass. This way. I've also done a lot of other things, like max out the tree. Um... Hello? <laughs> ah, it's over here. I couldn't see the thing. Nope. I accidentally cancelled my navigation. Good job, Bren. Also, my PS4 controller um, got a little bit of water splashed on it a couple days ago, so it might be a little bit... Um, Fidgety, it likes to disconnect and reconnect, quote-unquote, the microphone. There's no microphone, but it thinks there is now. Be on your guard, traveler. Now is no time for sightseeing. Oh, why is that? Has something happened? Yes. As unusual as this may sound, numerous eyewitness reports have confirmed an active ruin guard presence in this area, even though this is far beyond their normal area of activity. Is it? They kind of appear to be everywhere. Sergeant sent someone to find out just where these ancient machines might have come from. It appears that they simply left their ruin and marched off all of a sudden, for no clear reason. So did somebody wake them up? 
As I say, the reason is still unclear. We have very little intelligence at present. Moreover, the ruin in question is of the especially spooky variety. <laughs> Strange noises are often heard coming from within. Why did we both flinch when he said spooky? As such, we are not permitted to investigate until the order comes through from headquarters. One can never be too cautious. The Molith always so inefficient. Wow, rude. In any case, the only sensible strategy in the meantime is to increase Millilith patrols. We must not let innocent civilians come to harm. That's a good point. Ruin guards are probably pretty dangerous for regular folk. They're dangerous for me. They gotta be dangerous for regular people. Holy shit. Is there any way I can help? Wow. Uh, I'm very grateful indeed for the offer, but it just wouldn't be worth the risk. Oh, don't worry about that. This one beats up ruin guards for breakfast. I mean, it's not wrong. I do a little self-defense, not to brag, but I could beat ten of you in a fight. Ouch. Is that so? Well, if you're genuinely offering... I selected the top one, but in my head he's still responding to the bottom one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I did see some ruin guard footprints on the hillside, but since then I've been too busy warning passersby to investigate myself. Footprints, eh? Interesting. We'll take the case. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. On behalf of the Millilith, I salute you, traveler. You have my gratitude. I will rendezvous with you once I have finished my patrol. Mighty Cyclops Adventure. Okay, footprints. Next on the agenda. Wait. I can really hear the bell now. Maybe it's because I haven't been playing in Streamlabs because I wear headphones when I do this. Give me a minute. I'm kind of just enjoying Ganyu's bell. <laughs> it actually rings. Ooh, apparently too you get to pick like This footprint is huge. It has to be the one that guy was talking about. I don't even know where you're looking, Paimon. Um, there's gonna be a free four-star character with, uh, the Lantern Festival, and I'm really deciding between Ningguang and Xinyan. It's a tie, and I can't decide. Come on, it's gotta be in here somewhere. What the heck am I looking for? We're way behind schedule. Healthy I'm... body, healthy mind. Ganyu, that is an understatement. <gasps> Hello? Quest area reached. I'm so confused. What am I meant to be doing? Healthy body, healthy mind. Wait, there's a lizard. I'm so confused. How wow. Maybe up here. Oh, here they are. did come out for a walk after all. The trail of Ruin Guard footprints leads us here to... Ah! A Ruin Guard! Over there! You're gonna go for Beto? <laughs> nice. I've already got Beto, so I'm gonna go for one of the girls. One of the other girls. You gonna wake up, dude? Yeah. How did I miss that? I love her attack so much. I think her weapon is 80 as well. Get the chili pepper for increased speed. Yeah, I only haven't been working on Beto just because I already have an electric claymore. So I'm kind of torn between whether I want to work on Chongyun and make him my secondary abyss claymore or make a secondary claymore. Whee! I guess since I already have that weapon type and that element on said weapon type, it's not my top priority, but I do plan to get to her sometime. When the game gives me a chance, holy goodness. Take this flower. 
He's just circling it. Dang it. He moved. Everything takes such a beating now, even with leveled up characters. I think the difficulty is increasing incrementally, even with the uh, maxed out weapons and characters. That or I just need to work on my talents. Let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some more. Because I think everybody's talents are a max level of four or under. I still need to work on those. That's probably why. You can also make Xingnan your second Claymore. I know, but the thing with Ningguang is that she's like a defensive and uh, pure... She's like really good defense, but also really good offense for... Hello, unique model. For uh, her attack. So there's so many missions I get really quick that are enemy can't be damaged by physical attack, which Ningguang seems to hit pretty hard, despite having no real elemental bonus. That's why I'm considering her. Hey you! Check this out! Isn't it awesome? What is he wearing? Uh, that's just considered normal clothing around here, Paimon. I've never seen one this close before. Have you ever seen one? Has Paimon ever seen a winter hat? Yes, it's a powered down ruin guard. Um, excuse me. His name is Mr. Cyclops, actually. What sort of dumb name is ruin guard? <laughs> Mr. Cyclops? Aw, that's cute. Wait, what? Do people seriously call them that? Yep, my brother said so. And he's the best toy seller in the whole world. It's his job to sell this kind of stuff. Right now? He's at the Institute for Toy Research in Liyue. That's where Mr. Cyclops has come from. It's always nice to meet someone else who likes toys. So tell me, where'd you get your toy from? Must be a pretty new kind, huh? I've never seen one that can fly and talk before. <laughs> oh, Paimon. Paimon's not a toy, neither are Ruin Guards. Limited edition, jealous much. Oh no. Yeah, Paimon is not a toy. Greetings. Have you found anything? Oh, a child? Wh wh what's the situation here? We just, you know, found him. I think it's just my thing this week to find children where they're not supposed to be. Is this my curse now? Please don't make it my curse. Somebody take it. Uh-uh. You shouldn't be out here, boy. There are killing machines in the area. It's extremely dangerous. Killing machines? You mean, ones that look like this? Precisely. And including this one. It's not moving now, but if it were to wake up, the consequences would be... I'm very curious what causes them to wake up. You take that back! Mr. Cyclops is not a killing machine! He's one of the good guys! Um... Mr. Cyclops? I don't know, man. We shouldn't be talking to this guy. If he's saying mean things about Mr. Cyclops, he's definitely a bad man. Kids just always make this own narrative up in their head, and they just run with it, I swear. I, I, I'm just trying to help. I think you've lost him. Maybe let me handle this. <sighs> I've always been hopeless at dealing with children. Yeah, buddy, me too. Well then, why don't you get back to your normal job and leave us to do the babysitting? <sighs> it seems I have no other choice. Very well. I will continue with my patrol. Please escort the child to somewhere safe. It's much too dangerous here. Buddy, I've said this before and I'll say it again. He's like 40 pounds. Pick him up. <laughs> the mighty Mr. Cyclops scared off the bad guys once again. <laughs> Where is your family? My name's Tusser. I came all the way from Snezhnaya to look for my brother in Liyue. But I'm all on my own. And I don't know where to find him. Ah, yes. Child must very obviously be brother. You came all the way from Snezhnaya? Oh, I think this is the part where I give you this. Here you go. What is it? Looks heavy. Looks invisible. What the? So much more, uh... My brother said I should take it with me. He said, find a nice person to give this to, and they will take good care of too, sir. 
Uh, that could also go incredibly sideways, depending on who you spoke to. Your brother makes a good point. Still, it's hard to believe you made it all this way armed with nothing but a few bags of Mora. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised the poor thing didn't get mugged. Your family must be super rich. Paimon never knew you could make so much Mora from selling toys. Okay, this brings up another point really quick that I'm very curious about. When we previously did Zong Li's quest, he mentioned that Mora is magic and it actually is a fusing tool for things like Ascension. Like, it actually does turn the Mora back into, like, a magical essence. So this kind of makes me wonder, is Tartaglia super duper rich because Shneznaya is also counterfeiting Mora in the same way that they're counter counterfeiting Seals of Permission? Something to think about. I'll gladly take it and give it to your brother when we find him. Yay! Thanks, nice lady. All right. Now, we gotta make a pinky promise. You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, I throw you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Yes, this is normal for children. Wait until you hear the nursery rhymes that they start making up about, like... Barney the dinosaur and stuff, it's wild. Wow, that one nursery rhyme kind of says all you need to know about Shneznayan culture. Rude. Well, if we weren't your babysitters before, we sure as heck are now. But where should we look for your brother? Uh, somewhere with close connections to Shneznaya Northland Bank. Why is it blue? Game. Game, why is this blue? And sorry, I had to mute because a helicopter was going over. Great idea! Alright, off we go! Alright! Finally, now I get to see my brother! Two sirs more a pouch. Very hefty bag of cash that two sir is too easy to offload onto you. I want to see what the rest of that says. Too easy to follow on you. One wonders what sort of family this Shneznayan kid comes from. The face value of each of these gold coins is very large, but they can be redeemed for smaller change at the Northland Bank. Hmm. I wonder if Mora actually comes in different sizes. Okay, let's teleport. Yeah, I can also only do one of these because, uh, my hard drive is almost full. Where am I going? This way. Because normally I get to my editing on the weekend and I upload a bunch of stuff, but no, not this time. So let's, uh, bring Tartaglia, his brother who... Either came- oh shit! Damn it, really? I fell off the stairs? I ran right off the sta- Razor! Razor! Calm down! Calm down! Did he come all the way from Shneznaya? Or has Tartaglia brought him here and just not been able to watch him? What is going on? Oh, there's also world quests over there. I'm looking at that like, what? No, not you. Uh, goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Vlad. That seems a little inappropriate, don't you think, sir? How can you... Relax. Once in a while can't hurt. It'll be fine. What are we talking about? Huh? What is he doing here? He works here. Yay, my brother! I found you! I know that voice. Why, if it isn't my little brother, too, sir? That my goodness. was definitely a face. <laughs> what a nice surprise, too, sir. I thought I would have to wait till I return home before seeing you again. That face said murder. How are the others? Sister Tonia and Brother Anthon? Is everybody keeping well? How many siblings do you have? I don't get to say that. I don't get to say that. They miss you a lot. Tonia prays for you every day at dinner. Wait a second. What are you doing here in Liyue, Tusser? How have I not heard anything about this? 
Well, what happened was, I saw a boat that looked like it was selling toys, so obviously I thought you were on board. What? <laughs> that thought it looked like it was selling toys. How do you make that distinction? And then, when I got off, I just kept walking and walking, and then I found a Mr. Cyclops. And this is why you don't leave your children alone. Mr. Cyclops scared off a bad guy, and then I found this nice lady to help me come look for you. So Tuesday's a stowaway. And also, Tuesday's child's brother? Yeah, Paimon, I kind of already figured that out. Cool. Suddenly Paimon doesn't feel so bad about taking Tuesday's money. Wow. Tuesday, what you did was extremely dangerous. I'm so happy to see you, really, I am, but please, promise me you won't do anything like this ever again. <sighs> Okay, I promise. Please don't be mad at me. <sighs> I'm not mad at you. I just care about your safety, that's all. If you hadn't met these nice people, things could have been a lot more dangerous for you too, sir. I hope you said a big thank you to them. Yep, I always remember my pleases and thank yous. Oh, so you did notice we were here. You were just ignoring us. Gotcha. <laughs> Forgive me, it's always family first where I'm from. Don't take it personally. I know we've had our differences up to now, but a few minor quibbles aside, we get on quite well, don't you think? Do you mean that, or are you just keeping up appearances? <laughs> Come on, you know I'm just a pawn in all that, just doing my part. As for who wins, who loses, and how each side deals with the consequences, I prefer to leave all that up to the ones playing the game. You went Super Saiyan on me, dude. I'm much more interested in who wins and who loses when it comes to our little sparring matches. Hmm. Sounds like you're ready to get your butt kicked again. He does have Golden Temple for that. <laughs> you're forgetting something about me. I, Tartaglia, spend every second getting stronger. Don't expect to have it quite so easy next time. Me too. I've eaten so many books. <laughs> Also come a long way since then. Oh, you aren't gonna fight now, are you? <laughs> Maybe not right now. Not while my kid brother is watching. Why do you want to fight the nice lady? Are you guys enemies? No, not at all. Allow me to formally express my sincerest gratitude for taking care of my darling brother. His safety matters very much to me. I'm still keeping my eye on you. Concerned for your family's well-being. That I can understand. Ah, both are fine. Um, so anyway, Paimon has a question. Tuesday said something about you being a toy seller. What's that all about? Aren't you supposed to be one of the Fatui's harbor- Ahem, uh, yes, about that. Keeping that a secret from your family, huh? Hello? Shh, look. I only told him that so that he'll look up to me. In the eyes of a child, working with toys must be the best job imaginable, right? I don't want my family to have anything to do with the Fatui's, or should I say Snezhnaya's, darker side. The older ones already know that I serve the Tsaritsa. But Tusser is still so young, and in his eyes... See, this makes me just want to learn about the Tsaritsa more. Ahem. <clears throat> As I was saying, I remain Snezhnaya's greatest expatriate toy seller. Currently attached to the Liyue branch of our Institute for Toy Research. That's right! My brother's the greatest! He's Mr. Cyclops' bestest friend! Just humor me in front of Tuser, if you would be so kind. I'm guessing Tuser just really, really, really loves Cyclops. Ah, uh, yes, Ekaterina. I will deal with the issue of that outstanding payment right away. Hey! Slinking off, are we? But, Master Child. Would it not be a little improper to ask you to deal with debt collection? A bet is a bet, isn't it? And if you lose a bet with an agent, <laughs> well, you might as well get a little exercise out of it. Are you going off to sell toys now? That's right. As much as I'd love to catch up a little longer, Tuser, duty calls. I'm sure Miss Nice Lady here will be happy to keep you company while I'm out, though. I have a name. Ah, <sighs> so we still need to keep babysitting for you? No! Sure. I really like this lady. And anyway, she made a pinky promise to take good care of me. I've already babysit children my whole weekend, not again. 
Ah, well, it sounds like Tusser really likes you, and that you've already made a pinky promise to take good care of him anyway. Then Oops. I'm in your debt. Here, take this as Tusser's entertainment fund. I want him to have a good time while he's in Liyue, so take him anywhere he wants. I bumped it. I didn't get to see what the options were. If need be, you may find me by the river near Qingxiu Pool. I'll see you both around. If I take the wrong... Tusser's funds for entertainment. Hang on, I want to read this too. Just because these have very interesting descriptions. 35,000 Mora. Since it has a, a number attached to it, it kind of makes me think that uh, I'm going to have to do bartering again. Why did this not load properly? Uh, funds for Tuser's entertainment provided by child now mixed in with the stash you received from Tuser earlier. The face value of each of these gold coins is very large, but they can blah blah blah. Okay. Let's go. Looks like we'll be hanging out with Child's kid brother for a while. The game is stuck. So, 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 where are we going to play first? Um, how about we start with the toy store? Yeah, we're gonna play a game. It's called Jumping Off the Balcony. Ready, go, wee! The game is stuck. <laughs> but yeah, I was right. Uh, Tuser is the younger brother of Tartaglia in the Trojan War. So that is a mythology reference. Healthy body. Huh? What are those super colorful winged things? They're called kites. The kids in Leo love them. Hello there, dear. You look like you've come a very long way. A let granny guess. From what you're wearing, I would say... Snezhnaya. <laughs> That's right! How do you play with these pipe things, Granny? When the wind picks up, you let out the string, and whoosh! The kite will fly into the air, up, up, and away. Do they not have kites in Snezhnaya? I'd think they'd have wind. Mr. Cyclops, I'm sorry, I... I want to fly Mr. Cyclops high into the sky so all the kids can get to know him. Well, I can do custom builds, but I'll need some amount of reference material. I wonder if he's kind of like the other kid who had like a Cyclops imaginary friend. I kind of want to use that on Tuser and see if it's the same thing. Will this picture do? I drew it myself. I bring it with me everywhere. Hmm. I'll manage. Still, I must warn you that custom builds can really be quite expensive. Ah, uh, we should be fine. Child was pretty generous with that entertainment fund. Um, but then again, throwing money around willy-nilly is, you know, kind of irresponsible. Agreed. You think we should pocket the change? What do you really mean? Oh, neither of these options suit me. Well, um, so, yes, technically speaking, these funds are earmarked for Tuser's entertainment. But if there's any leftover when we're done... Paimon, we should te be teaching him value of money, not value of stealing money. Either way, it's time to talk prices. Yeah, okay, so I'm probably gonna go... Something like 12,000 to start? I don't know. Because I don't know what else we're going to need to get. Maybe I'll go low as low as 10 because it's still less than half. Oh, fine. I'll go here. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Freaking PS4 controls. Fine, fine. I've neither the time nor energy to bargain with you at my age. I suppose this price will do. <laughs> Thanks, Granny! Worry not. Just leave it to me. 
I just don't want to spend all of it because I might need to buy something else. Why don't we head to one man restaurant? It would be a mighty crying shame to come all the way to Leela and never try the food. We have food at home. Paimon, I have literally covered in food. My inventory, I have so much food. Hello, welcome. Table for three? <sighs> this restaurant has a really a choking smell. <laughs> a choking smell? Oh, you must be referring to our signature spicy chili scent. Well, this isn't gonna go well. Spicy chili? But I can't eat spicy food. Oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Laughs at half my family. Is it really that bad? My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar, and the oil has to be extra virgin vegetable oil. Tusser, no! <laughs> Tusser, no, you've said the word for Twitch banning. Wow, we've got a real rich kid on our hands. Looks like Wanman Restaurant's dishes aren't a Tusser's taste. Maybe we should go somewhere else. I joked on Twitter that I could potentially get banned for olive oil, and now I get banned by a child for olive oil. Ah. <laughs> uh, Will that be all? Any more special requests? Uh, what do you mean, Chef Mal? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wan Min Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a dish to satisfy this child's taste, I would have absolutely no business calling myself a chef ever again. Whoa, there seems to be a lot of professional pride riding on this. Then we'll leave it to you, Chef Mal. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. But let me say this first. Special requests are going to cost you more than normal. Of course, we aren't going to demand prices anywhere near as exorbitant as the likes of Lili Pavilion or Sunye Kiosk. Special orders are going to charge you more than usual. Buddy, it's a kid. Give him mac and cheese. It's mac and cheese. Is it just Paimon? Or are premium custom orders in fashion lately? Or like chicken nuggets. Good lord. They aren't hard to make. They aren't expensive to make. I'm getting ripped off here. Still... <laughs> Surely there must be a little room for negotiation, right? Uh, yeah, I do have to... Okay, what about... Maybe... Close to 8,000? <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh, let's go with this then. Any more haggling and we'll ruin the other customers' appetites. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Mal. Please sit wherever you like. Your food will be here shortly. You enjoyed a meal specifically made for two, sir. Ooh, it was a little too sweet. Paimon feels a little sick. Yep, the older you get, the harder it becomes to eat a lot of sweet food. <sighs> I thought it was just right. Almost exactly like how my sister Tonya makes it. But this doesn't feel right somehow. Didn't we bring Tuser here to try Leela's specialties? Eh, whatever. So where do you want to go next, Tuser? I was so caught up looking for my brother when I first got here that I didn't get a good look around. Good idea! The hustle and bustle at the wharf is a specialty of Leela Harbor, too. The wharf? Okay. I mean, we could have tried to give him some, like, chicken noodles or something. Soup? Most kids like soup. Maybe my character is just really bad at dealing with kids. Wow, this place is huge! And there's so many people! Are the waves here always like this? Don't they ever freeze? Mmm, depends. gets cold enough to freeze. Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive personal tour guide, but 
since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tuser get to know the place. This place is Leroy's Commercial Hub, and it's been the biggest port in the Seven Nations ever since it was decided that Leroy would take on the world through trade. Which is kind of funny considering it's not actually that big. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf, um... Paimon Tuser won't understand a word you're saying. How about a topic could be interested in? <laughs> yeah, but seriously, you call this a port? remember how the rest goes anyway. Gosh, our port for tourists is bigger than that. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All of the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. I don't know if this is helping either. Then, Leroy Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. This is how you explain throughput capacity. Oh my god. You don't... Uh, you don't have to change it into something else. You just use simpler language to help them understand Paimon. Oh my god. None of my characters actually know how to deal with kids. Oh boy. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off. Uh, after all that, he wasn't even listening. Gosh, for the past couple days, this private plane has kept flying in circles over our house. It's driving me crazy. I keep having to mute. That metal hook is huge, and it gets bigger the closer we get. This is an anchor. Docked ships use it to hold themselves in position to stop the wind and waves from blowing them away. <sighs> an anchor. Got it. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. What? Commodore Hook? Is this another one of your weird toy names? My brother always sends me a really big toy for my birthday. Commodore Hook, Black Steel Jack, Iron Tony. We keep them all in our backyard. Uh-huh. And as big as the answer, are they made out of metal? Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow. Using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that. All for some giant toys. But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tusser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Hey! Quit running off! We're way behind schedule. Oh, yeah, it's a parenting style I don't personally go for. I don't believe in making all this fake stuff up. Is this where they sell fish? Wow, the fish here in Leo are so small. Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, too, sir? Um, maybe 200 times your size? Uh, actually, that's pretty small. It's crazy big. Uh, it's a big fish. There are legends in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. I, I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. I get the feeling we're gonna see this in the future. A few days later, he returned with a humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Maybe it's the narwhal on his banner. Uh, sounds like a topic that would enter Jean Ling. Your brother spoils you too much. Kinda does. Hey, Miss Nice Lady, let's go over there to see the boats. I 
I, I get the feeling Tartaglia is just a little overprotective. What's wrong, Tuzer? Are you tired? You don't seem so happy. Possibly in an attempt to cover his own ass? I miss my brother. What? But we were just with him. Yeah, but for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. <sighs> Guess we have no choice. Well, we've played with Tuzer long enough, haven't we? Paimon thinks we've tried our best here. Child said that he'd be by the river near Qingshu Po. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go, let's go! Yes, please, take it, take it back. <laughs> Come get your fresh fish. Back to... Probably the bank. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I don't like being an impromptu babysitter. At least this time I think I'm getting paid. Maybe, sort of, kinda, technically. I don't even necessarily think it's that I... Where the hell am I going? 720? No, no, not this. It's not even that, that I just like um, taking care of kids. It's more like, how the hell do we know he's out here? He was at Northland Bank. How do we know he's all the way out here? Do we have a beeper on Tartaglia now? Is is did I stick something on his coat when I fought him last? Good gracious. Anyway. <laughs> 